the brand new Thor Love and Thunder trailer is getting a lot of buzz. And typical of Marvel, right after the trailer drops, they give us a brand new poster, which also comes accompanied with the brand new plot synopsis. So let's talk about everything that this thing confirms. Okay, so before we get to the plot synopsis, let's talk about the poster here, which honestly is pretty epic. Uh, this is one of the better Thor posters, in my opinion. It captures the nature of everything crazy. It does still kind of keep up with that whole, hey, everybody's on it. Look at the villain in the back and everything. But what are you going to do these days? You're like 35 projects into the MCU. They're all going to kind of start to meld together. So meld, it does. Now that that is out of the way, let's go over the actual plot synopsis and another paragraph we had here, which does officially confirm to us the previous rumors about Russell Crowe. So one of the two paragraphs says, and I quote, a new trailer and poster are now available for Marvel Studios Thor Love and Thunder, revealing new details about the God of Thunder's latest adventure, including a trek to Olympus where Zeus Russell Crowe reigns supreme, end quote. So it's not a rumor anymore. It is confirmed. Obviously, the trailer did it. They confirm it in the press release. Yes, we are going to Olympus. And yes, that is Zeus. So whatever else we might see there, it's definitely going to spark a lot of, uh, I guess, scoops and discussion until we see the film. And then inevitably, 99% of it is wrong. But now for the actual plot synopsis itself. The film finds Thor, Chris Hemsworth, on a journey unlike anything he's ever faced, a search for self-discovery. But his retirement is interrupted by a galactic killer known as Gore the God Butcher, played by Christian Bale, who seeks the extinction of the gods. To combat that threat, Thor enlists the help of King Valkyrie, Korg, and ex-girlfriend Jane Foster, played by Natalie Portman who's, to Thor's surprise, inexplicably wielding his magical hammer Mjolnir as mighty Thor. Together, they embark on a harrowing cosmic adventure to uncover the mystery of the God Butcher's vengeance and stop him before it's too late." End quote. Okay, making a bold prediction here after that one. There is some sort of magical ancient device built by various different gods, like Zeus was one of them, Odin was one of them. This device can, if triggered, kill every single god at once. I don't know how I got that, but they need some sort of laser in the sky or something. This, this could deliver the laser in the sky. It's a reverse rainbow bridge. There we go. There we go. That's what it's going to look like. I figured this out. I got the plot. I got the scoop. You don't, you don't got to go pay the uh, whatever. Um, uh, premium snaps for these scoops or whatever kids do these days okay seriously though the plot sounds incredible the film looks incredible gore the god butcher looks amazing everything looks good i'm gonna be real with you everything looks good i cannot wait for this film besides this helmet that looks like garbage Ugh.